27th of December 1941. The Japanese Imperial Navy has successfully deployed troops to Singapore. Currently, some 2,300 troops are fighting hard to establish a foothold on the enemy's main port and airfield. The invasion force convoy has managed to get all the way back to our home base in Kirchin and is currently loading up with more supplies and troops to reinforce the initial wave of troops. They came under repeated fire from the British and other Allied aircraft but managed to securely get back to home waters. As they set out once again we will ensure that they have a friendly fighter cap uh, above them as much as possible. We also know that the Royal Navy has a King George V battleship in the area. Despite us striking it with a couple of torpedoes causing fires on the front deck, she is still active and in the area. Well, one would hope that the damage was enough to force her back to a port for minor repairs. Hi everyone, welcome back to War on the Sea. Here we are with the centrifugal offensive. Let's get that out of the way at the moment. Just having a look at Singapore, we've got 2,318 troops on there with only 2,200 supplies. Would like to double the supplies, but um, we are got some um, more guys on the way. Here we have the invasion force, which is just set sail. Uh, a couple of destroyers guarding the uh, the transport and troop ships so we got 1300 um, so what, 2200 uh, 3500 um, yeah so about 3500 troops coming over with not enough supplies to be honest yeah with about another 2000 supplies so um, I'm going to have to ferry more supplies next time than, than troops on the third run. Uh, hopefully that they should be okay. Um, yeah, If we can get it to almost even-handed, we may be able to hold in there. Uh, we've got some Helen uh, bombers here doing some patrols just to make sure the spot... They're basically looking for the, um, the Royal Navy's capital ship, the King George V battleship, which chat seems to believe it is the Prince of Wales, which... I thought should historically should have been sunk by now, but um, yeah, I think I think you're probably right in the chat in uh, regarding that. So yes, all is going well. Let's speed up the time. Good good news is, as I say, it's just coming at half past six in the evening, so the aircraft will be coming back into land. So this will be able to get a fair chunk of the way uh, in the in the dark. So uh, no fear from enemy air raids coming in. And a couple of you did spot they wasn't the uh, swordfish, although swordfish were based out of Singapore. Yeah, it looks like the Vickers Wildebeest was the um, torpedo biplane that came in, which was the the follow-on from the uh, swordfish. So yeah, yeah, well spotted, well spotted. Uh, and the what I thought was the Australian Wirraway fighters. I think people have um, identified them as the CW21s, which um, yeah. Looks like you're right on that one as well, which I shouldn't doubt you. Shouldn't doubt you at all. Right, so these guys are moving. Um, what's the time now? Half past seven. Can we? Have we got the? Um, no, we can't launch anything. Six o'clock was the last. These guys are just going to finish their last patrol and head back to base. Uh, let's have a look at rest and repair. So we've got. Um, wow, the Jinsu light cruiser 27 days until that's available the uh, tone or the tone I've, I've been told it's pronounced um the six days Megami six days uh, Shirayuki six days and um, Nagara six days hmm okay so they're hopefully gonna be with us well we've only done three days and a lot's happened in three days so yeah, and we've only got 16 command points to spend, so can't really buy anything to um, back us up at the moment. So we're just going to have to push through with what we've got. Okay, it's now 7.30, the following morning on the 28th of December 1941. Uh, let's get some air cover up. Let's get, we've got seven Oscars. Actually, let's get uh, four Oscars up with drop tanks. 
and we'll get them to fly a cap over the invasion force. Cool. Happy days. So they're going to be heading up now and covering um, the planes. And we are good to uh, dispatch some more aircraft. Um, endurance 710 miles, 600. Oh, okay, yeah. So we use the Helens for um, spotting, I think. They are probably the best ones to do so. Um, because. Well, you know, it's just a case of. If they can spot 695. Oh, it's not that. That's not. This is not going to be the the neatest of. Um, oh, there you go. It'll get to about there. And then you can head back. Um, it's not going to be a, a very tidy patrol, but that's not the point here. We just get them going up and searching. Ready to launch more fighters. Nice. Let's get another one up. Yeah, and then you can head back. So we're just trying to cover some as much water as we can. It's going to be very difficult for these aircraft to spot it. But if they do, we can then send the four Nell torpedo bombers that we have remaining to try and sink uh, the ship. Because that's what we're looking for. We're looking for that battleship. And yes, this is a, quite a large expanse of water, so it may be a bit tricky for them to find it. You know, it is a bit like searching for a needle in a haystack, but um, that's all we can do, really. Right, our fighters are out of fuel and they are returning to base. Aha! We have found six ships moving slow. One appears to be a destroyer escort and one seems to be a um, merchant ship. But there's others as well. Let's go and um, have a look and see what we can find. So, at half past ten then, here is that Helen on a patrol. And they have spotted, oh yes, something up front. What have we got here? That does indeed look to be a merchant ship. They said there were six ships. What is that? That looks like a little, yeah. That's a very small little corvette or a little escort ship. I don't know what short that is. They did say six, so where's... Hmm. Well, if that's all there is... Um... I don't see anything else. What we probably ha will have to do is, uh, well, we'll have to come down and um, strafe them and try and drop our bomb. We do have a bomb on the board, so let's see if we can hit that merchant ship, whatever they're doing. Okay, our bomber is dropping down. She's going to try to do a bit of skip bombing, um, alt high altitude bombing of a single ship is an extremely difficult thing to do. Bombing in World War II was not particularly accurate anyway. And this um, mod has been tweaked to make altitude flat bombing far more tricky uh, than the base game. So yes, we're going to come low and um, try and do some low level skip bombing. Keep an eye on her. She's probably going to do some manoeuvres. But yeah, if we get a bomb on that uh, merchant ship then she should get obliterated okay I did order them to come down to about um, 300 feet but this is as far as they want to go about 700 so um, without me manually taking control and forcing it quite a bit of anti-aircraft on that little gun oh, on that ship and this has got some anti-aircraft fire on it as well Bombs away! She's missed. We missed. Never mind. She's now breaking away and um, flying away. Okay. Nothing too much to worry about. Confirmation then the after action report. Merchant ship and some sort of like little corvette tug type thing. Arm tug is um, escorting it. Um, no harm, no foul. They're okay. We're okay. We've spotted them. We might send in a couple of torpedo bombers, I think. So, this is where they were. Um, let's... What have we got? Let's send a couple of torpedo bombers. I'll hold two back just in case we spot the uh, the warship again. Um, 710 range. We'll send them over here then. 
and hopefully they should find that them um, yeah meanwhile over here in um, Tarakan let's get some more we've got nine torpedo bombers here and we've got these uh, KI 27 nates which seem a bit rubbish to be honest with you um, yeah, we can't put like drop tanks on them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to send a couple of these um, nails out to do some um, further rendezvous and uh, not rendezvous, sorry, uh, reconnaissance. <laughs> My brain's frazzled. Let's do some south of the line. Do some search patterns there. What's the range? Seven ten. There we go. That'll do. Um, just in case, you know, we've got we've got um, allied bases around here and there'll be ships flying in around here um, so yeah we need to make sure that we're keeping an eye on them these little nates will only sort of do around here but have to spy on what's happening at the south of Borneo really probably should be having a look at this um, Pontianak Pontianak? I don't know on the pronunciation that's got an airbase so yeah this is probably something we should also target you get an airbase there, then you know that we can continue to harass, shouldn't we? Obviously, they said Singapore has got to be our primary target, but I think this is probably going to be target too. And this one's got a port as well, so yeah, I think if we can capture Singapore, um, Sumatra, the rest of it may wait, and we might try and seize Borneo. It's 12 o'clock. These are our two torpedo bombers, which are heading down to attack the merchant ship that we saw, but they have just spotted something themselves. Apparently, so we are waiting for them to. Uh, where's the observer to call it out? Oh, there they are over there. Look. Oh, it's a task group. It's the battleship. We found her. Oh, typical. I've only sent two ships, uh, two aircraft out, but uh, we will attack nonetheless, and we'll get the other two remaining aircraft up to attack. Okay, here we go. Our two Nels are making their run. Anti-aircraft fire blazing away from the battleship and her support air, uh, support ships. So far, so good. Oh, wingman smoking. Hang in there, buddy. Torpedoes away. Oh, aircraft down. Looks like both aircraft were sadly shot down. But two torpedoes are loose. One hit. Two hits. Okay. Smoke rising. As their internal fires below the waterline which we can't see obviously nothing really marked there under the water but we'll keep an eye on it see if she starts to list see if these um, there's a lot of smoke but no fire on the deck we'll keep an eye on her and as soon as we can we'll get those other torpedo aircraft in the air obviously attacking as a as a pair, they're always going to be uh, a challenge because the anti-aircraft guns have only got a, a couple of aircraft to target on, so... Yes. Okay. Did some damage, but I don't think that's going to in any way cripple her, unfortunately. Unless these fires really get going. So, the after action report, R2 aircraft valiantly attacked. We were we lost both aircraft and both crews, unfortunately. The King George V battleship, heavily damaged and moderate flooding. So she'll be definitely going slow. Um, now I think I'll send any other aircraft I have to try and hit her. 
Right, so this is the merchant ship which we were trying to sink. They were about here because they were flying across here. So, uh, let's see, what have we got? We got two Nels. Um, because they would be going through there. So they'll be on that trajectory, on that line somewhere. So we'll get them heading out there. And actually, oh, that's probably going to be a bit far, isn't it? What have we got on these Nels? 710 range. It's just out of their range. They can get to about there. Let's let's send them. Because uh, you never know. They obviously the ship will be moving, so we might be able to get somewhere. Meanwhile, at quarter past twelve, we have a pair of nails. No, these are not the ones we've just sent up to hunt down the battleship. They have spotted something themselves. What is that here? You ask. Uh, nothing good. It looks like they've got enemy aircraft coming after them. Oh, there they are. Got two buffaloes. Got two buffalo. Yeah. Uh, right. Guys, I think let's um, let's dive. Get the speed on. And let's see if we can beat them in the dive. If not, there go the rear gunners. Oh, we've lost one. Ah, we've lost two. Yeah, not much hope, really. Right, so we know they've got active patrols where we sent these to go... Spotting. Ah, okay, we're going to... We don't have any enemy um, fighters at that location, unfortunately, so we can't clear them out. But let's not risk any more nails. Oh, look, there's, there's another flight of three. There's a flight of five of them in total. Confirmation then. R2 aircraft was shot down. There's five enemy fighters patrolling this area. Unfortunate. And 20 to 1. Uh, one of our Helens on reconnaissance patrol has spotted an, an, a ship. I was going to say an aircraft. They look like... Um, three of those little destroyer escorts are they doing anti-submarine patrols perhaps here they are um, yeah they do have depth charges so they, they could be doing an anti-submarine patrol perhaps are they all the same yeah they look it don't they yeah yeah not much to worry about, I wouldn't have thought. Um, bit of anti-aircraft fire going up to try and hit our aircraft, but okay, we'll report them back to base. But um, at the moment, I have no real intention to go after them. At ten to five in the afternoon, we've sighted the battleship. She is nowhere near where the Nels went to engage. Both flights of Nels have had to turn back due to fuel. Um, but we can engage. We've still got a bomb on board. Okay, here she goes. Bomb doors open. Yeah, she doesn't want to skip on the surface. Probably like in the previous ones when I had the B-17s, you could use them as they drop their bombs, skipping, and then they just ram straight into the side of the um, the the ship. Here we go. She's looking a little bit out, but bomb gone. Oh, it's a good run. It's a near miss, but it's certainly done some damage. Oh, I think the aircraft got shot down, but my goodness. And that would have done something. The fires are starting again. If that gets a bit more flooding involved and slow her down even more. Um, probably not now during the time. Uh, we might be able to get the Nels refueled and back up. But yes, from where we spotted her last time, she's headed back towards Singapore. So hopefully this fire and whatever damage that caused will slow her down somewhat. 
Confirmation the after action report then. We lost our aircraft. Still heavy damage and moderate flooding for the battleship there. So, um, it was just near these islands here. Unfortunately, they're the nails. Look, they're out of fuel. And they're the other nails. They're heading back out of fuel as well. So, by the time these get back there, oh, it, time may have passed and we might not be able to get them back up in the air. And they're probably heading for the invasion group, to be honest with you. Um, we're down to 1,600 troops on the uh, invasion, so the sooner they get there, the better. Right, we got the two Nels. Let's get them up, and let's set a course um, for probably about here. They're getting up literally a minute before the curfew. Fantastic. Just got them up. Unfortunately, they have been unable to find them, and at 10 o'clock at night, they're heading home in the pitch black. Um, good effort, boys. Good effort. But, um, yeah, we've got our... They're not too far away now. Steaming in. Well, they're getting a bit slow, actually. Can we, can we book them a little bit more? Probably not. Without wasting too much resource. Let's, um... Hopefully, they can go in under the cover of darkness. Here's our force, 6.04 in the morning. They've sailed throughout the night. They haven't made it yet, but we've got enemy aircraft inbound. Uh, as discussed by with my uh, fellow war advisors, i.e. chat, um, we've got it more of a round formation to try and... circular formation, sorry, to try and um, intensify the anti-aircraft fire. Oh, well, there they are. What have we got? Hurricanes, is it? Dropping bombs. Thankfully, they've missed. Okay, so got hurricanes here and some buffalo over there. Dropping bombs. I thankfully missing. Uh, missing again. More aircraft. Wow, they've sent everything up. Got hurricanes in front of us again. Dropping bombs, no doubt. Around that cargo ship. These two buffalo merging and uh, separating in some sort of weird maneuver. You see, that's, this is where the, the, the AI have got a slight advantage. They can send every aircraft they have up at once, whereas I, I'm obviously limited to... Um, one particular raid, so I couldn't send my torpedo bombers and my bombers and my fighters all up in one go. Whereas the AI can, so they do have an advantage. Unless there's something I don't know, of course. Um, that's more than likely. But um, as far as I'm aware, I can't do that. So they have a significant advantage on that front. Okay, just having a look. Um, this is the only one that's taken any damage. It's got a little bit of flooding in one of the um, sections here. Um, not much they can do about that, but um, everyone else seems to be okay. But it's not over yet. This is what I mean. They've sent even more aircraft up. Torpedoes in the water. Okay, this is the one they're targeting. I'll turn her into best I can to avoid the torpedoes. Don't oversteer. Oof. Okay, first round of torpedoes have dodged her. There's more coming in. Oh, they dropped that one straight on top of her. Aircraft shot down. Next one to worry about is the destroyer Matsuki shooting down the uh, enemy ships. Oh, torpedoes coming. Oh, all over the place. Uh, this is going to be very difficult to avoid these. Yeah. She may get clipped by one. Oh, my God. That was close. Okay. Any more torpedoes coming in? 
Okay, torpedoes are clear of the rest of the fleet. My goodness me, that was close. Ah, uh, we've had it again. We've had it again. This is a bug. This is confirmed bug now. There's There was no torpedoes. And one of my destroyers has just started to explode again. That's annoying. That is really annoying. Uh, I was reading some of the comments that were suggesting that where one of the um, the biplanes gets shot down, um, that is when... Yeah, okay. So I've lost two destroyers now due to a bug. So we're... Yeah, okay. That's annoying. Um, not only am I competing against the uh, the AI, but also a few bugs now. Yeah, so we're, apparently when what, like a wildebeest or something goes down, crashes into the water, uh, if your ship sails over where they entered the water, it acts like a giant minefield. Oh, sorry, I've got to stay away from that, otherwise I'm going to deafen you all. Okay, confirm bug. Confirm bug. That's two destroyers we've lost due to that. That is annoying. So there we go. Um, 33 aircraft attacked. 33 aircraft. Uh, one was lost, and that one took out after after they'd all left the area. The wreckage of one of those took out a destroyer due to bugging issues. Uh, that is really annoying. Not gonna lie. Meanwhile, the rest of them have made it. Um, back to Singapore. Can we unload all troops? Yes, we have. Okay. And we can start on the... Um... So we can start heading back as quick as possible to get some more as quickly uh, as we can over here. So, um, in Singapore, we now dropped 5,300 troops off. Um, 4,000 supplies, obviously they need much more supplies than that. It's best to have double supplies to troops, but um, yeah, it's not where we are at the moment, but hopefully they should hold out a little bit longer and give us time to get these heading back as quickly as possible. But at 7.05, more enemy aircraft coming in, and you know, what do we fear more? Downing aircraft or actually being hit by them? Um, yeah, let's have a look. Nothing yet. Okay, here we go. Attack number two, Hurricanes with bombs. Well, they're dropping short. I've got the um, ships put up a smoke screen. So, the after action report. Moderate damage to the uh, Yusinkini Maru. Um, minor damage to many of the others. Um, no aircraft of the 14 shot that... Uh, which attacked us shot down unfortunately at 8.33 that morning further attacks apparently sending up more smoke I think we've got air enemy aircraft coming into the area ok we've got Bristol Blenheims coming in Oh, I think there was a dud in that. Not only Blenheims, we've also got the Martins coming in as well. Um, I've got them steering into their smoke, so hopefully that should make it even more challenging for the uh, bombers to pick out their target and hit them. I think there's a further flight of Blenheims coming in as well. Bombs away. Oh, they got a hit. Engine dead. Uh, working on uh, the flames now. It looks like they've also scored a hit on the uh, this ship here. Oh, and just as we think it's over, we've got a sinking ship there who's struggling to get her engine back online. We've got some more Blenheims coming in to try and hit the uh, 
the damaged ships. Coming in for some skip bombing. Well, strafing, in fact. Okay, that strafing run has caused a bit of damage. They got the fire crews fighting away. Troop ship as well. We don't want to lose this. Uh, the other damage um, fires are out. Uh, trying to the engines back working. Thank heavens, and they're still con conducting repairs on there. And the other one that was damaged got some leaking. Uh, well, got some damage here on this side. Bit of water getting in, but um, she is she's going okay. So um, hopefully we can get them back and repaired back at base. Confirmation then. Moderate damage to a couple of the ships now. Uh, it's starting to look like these do need to have be repaired, although I need to really turn them around pretty quick. Another large raid by the enemy. 23 aircraft sent out against us. One lost. 9.33. We're under attack again. Smoke being sent up. Waiting for the enemy aircraft to descend upon us. Happily news though. got the Oscars flying cap over us at the moment so um, we can at least give them a sting if they come for us which they w they are doing it looks like to be Blenheim mark ones these are the fighter variant with the gun pod underneath the um, the aircraft they're strafing that ship down there making a run on that Tra troop transport ship again aren't they can't tell it there goes the Oscars room yeah they are well one's already been shot down by the Oscars here come the Oscars come on boys do your thing got one Go on, get the other one, boy. Go on, you lined him up. Finish him off. One blend him sent into the uh, the ground back there. Now oh, that one's opening up on that blend him. Oh, another blend him shot down. Beautiful. Do we not seem to be able to? Oh, we might not be able to catch him up, but this guy might. He's got the speed on us. Come on, buddy. Shoot him down. Got him. Good shooting. Confirmation, then. Um, eight aircraft attacked us. All Bristol Blenheim Mark I uh, fighters, by looks of it. We shot down five of them. That's more like it. Bit of damage to um, this ship again, but she's still managing to go. Heavy damage on this transport ship, which is not good at all. Uh, all seven of our aircraft were able to continue. Hopefully they've still got fuel to continue their cap over uh, this convoy. At 10.43, we are again making smoke with the convoy. The Unfortunately, the cap has had to return to base to refuel, uh, so course this is when the enemy have launched I assume is going to be a huge air raid against us nothing's seen yet searching the skies obviously putting up the smoke screen not particularly helpful to that but you know they're going to be coming from over there where the land is behind us and sort of over here again with the landers. It's a shame we lost that destroyer at the rear because we could have front and rear coverage now, but we've only got um, the, the uh, leading destroyer. Oh, it's not! It's torpedo attack from a submarine! My goodness!
So, um, the destroyer, we're going to speed up and start hunting over here for any submarines. It's quite shallow here, so hopefully we'll be able to get a good hit. Meanwhile, we've got ships in danger behind. Okay, this is the other ship. Um, torpedoes coming through here, look, now. So, um, what I'm going to try and do is steer between them. Yes, this is the one that's going to be a bit of a pain. Let's start turning to port to get the rear to swing round. Uh, that one should be safe. I think we're okay. Okay, I think we got her. We heard the klaxon. We got her. Confirmation then. Damage to some of our ships. Not from this attack though. Um, but the Fubuki destroyer was able to swing round, detect the salmon and sinker for 2,198 tons of enemy submarine. One command point gained. Huzzah! As we roll round to 20 past midday on the 29th, um, further potential air attacks coming in. Um, smoke being generated. Also watch the, the seas now that we know there's active enemy submarines in the area. Um, the Oscars have refueled and are heading back out but they're still some way off. Being able to fly a defensive cap over the um, over the the uh, I'll say fleet over the convoy. So um, it's buffalo. Lots and lots of buffalo apparently. I see them. Small bombs under the wings. I'm trying to speed up now. Alright, so we start putting some anti-aircraft fire up. We're turning, speeding up making smoke doing all we can to try and avoid these uh, these faster aircraft there's another flight over there bombs missed thankfully no reports of any hits I don't think so the after action reports, uh, we had a little bit of damage to the um, Akashi Maru, minor damage only, they were able to do much of the repair, uh, 11 aircraft attacked, none were lost. So only another well five and a half hours until the curfew and the uh, aircraft can't be sent up any further. Um, the Oscars are heading back out to... Um, run a cap over our uh, ships they can't get there soon enough meantime um in singapore 5369 troops are fighting hard to con contain the foothold we've we've established we've got 4000 troop uh, supplies which we need more of course and a quick check on how we are doing uh another five days until our cruisers and uh well, two heavy cruisers and light cruiser and our destroyer are available to send out have a look at the ships we've already got out to sea. Um, this one, this is the troop ship. That's got nine days of repairs it would require. Yusaka Maru, two days. The Akash, Akashi, five days. Eight days for the Kamui. Um, the Yami Yar uh, Maru, <laughs> seven days and 11 days for this one down here. So, um, yeah, our fleet is looking battered. Absolutely battered. counting our losses with today's events we can put that into a little bit more perspective so the Sunday light cruiser we lost due to enemy action on December the 25th 1941 the two destroyers 
the Matsuki and the Hasuyuki. Um, I am now convinced that these were destroyed by a bug. Uh, by hitting or hitting the area where an enemy Wildebeest torpedo bomber was sunk. I think that maybe the torpedo remains active, I don't know. But um, yes, the torpedoes had long gone. There was nothing in the area and both times we've seen a destroyer get blown to smithereens. Multiple explosions where there's no enemy in the area. So, very suspicious about those two. I'm going to say that's a bug and we've lost those two destroyers due to that. Um, so, yeah, three ships lost. Uh, total tons sunk, uh, 9,565, um, and 20 aircraft we've lost. The enemy, however, they have lost the uh, Repulse, uh, the renowned battle cruiser, on December 25th, uh, 34,600 tons, and today we have sunk the Salmon, Salmon and Submarine, 2,198 tons. So, Two ships sunk for us, um, two victories, uh, 36,798 tons of warship, enemy warship tonnage sunk, and we downed 80 aircraft. Fantastic, but they seem to have a lot more of everything than we do at this stage. But for now, we are kind of holding our own. Uh, it does feel like we're battling um, a bit of a larger beast here uh, definitely an uphill struggle at the moment but we are continuing on and soon our cruisers will be ready to set sail once again so thanks so much for watching I hope you're continuing to enjoy this war on the sea centrifugal offensive campaign uh, thanks for watching take care I'll see you next time bye bye